Auction time. This is the 5D series auction, 5D01. I made this one on video. It is a chert blade. Don't ask me what kind of chert it is, because I'm going to guess if I have to answer. Yeah. Anyway, I tried to get it thin and uh, came out all right. I was going to notch it, but I said, nah. It's more versatile if it's not notched. That way, if you get it, you can notch it yourself or not. And some, people, some people don't want notched. Yeah. All right. So that's it. It's sharpened all the way around. I don't know what else to say except, yeah, I need to measure it. Here's my tape measure I've been looking for. No, I keep this one stashed separately. Four and five eighths. Yeah, I keep a separate tape measure for my auctions because if I don't, I will never find it. Okay. I forgot what, what did I say it was? Four and five eighths. Five D zero two. I made this one on video too. I was attempting to do the cowhouse slough type point, and I was reading on this after after I made it. And uh, it's it appears that the technique for doing this is just a regular biface first. But after that, the trick is only pressure flake on one side all the way around, right? So that what that does is it brings the edge down like that, and it makes it appear as if it's flat on one side and bulgy on the other. Yeah, that's how I, that's how they did it. So I'll make another one. Uh, it might not be this style, but... I'll make another one that, so I can demonstrate that. Because that's a good way to sharpen it, too. Um, you know, uh, just take flakes off. It's like beveling all the way around, basically. It's an interesting concept. Anyway, this one is um, 3 and one eighth, And these things are found in an association with Simpson points, which is, you know, late paleo. Okay, but these were not ground down on the edges. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and last but not least, 5D03. There's only three items in this auction. That's all I had time for. Okay. These are uh, high quality, hopefully, raw stones. And this is tabular chert. I had several pieces of tabular chert, so I said, let's offer some to the people. Yeah. So some of this tabular chert is high grade, like this one, this one here. This one is not so much, as far as I can tell. It'll need some heat. Let's see what this is. Four, it's about four. This one is almost four maybe three and three quarter just to be fair but anyway some people don't know what this tabular chert feels like so now's your chance yeah i got some more of it but i'm saving i'm saving it because i want to nap it yeah and there's some pieces of high quality raw in here in addition to the tabular stuff this tabular stuff here is different from this tabular stuff it's formed in a different way but it still looks tabular and it's still going to be fairly good quality but all this stuff can be heat treated okay it can be yes heat treated this chunk i stuck these chunks these two of them in here that are not tabular pieces <clears throat> they're just like uh spalled out just so you can get an idea of the high quality raw stuff yeah, it has it. It has some issues, so just be aware. I don't know what this stuff looks like under the cortex. This was pretty well skinned, so it looks pretty good. High quality raw. Uh, same with this high quality raw. It did break. Normally, what I do is I put this stuff in the broken bifaces, but I did not have enough in the broken bifaces, or for the broken bifaces box this time around. Yeah, four. But this is about the size of stuff that I have available now while I'm up here in Vermont. I don't have anything large to work with. Okay? Just don't, so don't ask.
But all my stuff is between three and four inches now. And I'm sharing some of it with you guys. Yeah. This is high quality raw. This is not tabular. This is kind of a tabular and kind of an amoeba looking thing. It's, it, it, but I think it's good quality stuff. I took a chip there. It may have issues, so just be aware. I don't guarantee this. If the if these things are not what you expected, I will give you better stuff. Yeah. Just let me know. If it's not what you expected and you go, you know, this was full of cracks. Can I get some other ones? I'll say, yep. Sure can. I'll send you some other ones. All right. So just, just be aware. This is, these are not perfect. They're just... Uh, I got a lot of this stuff available, so I'm offering it. I'll be napping stuff like this in the coming weeks. All right. So there you go. That's it. All right. What do we got here? We got rules. These are my cheat notes. There's a better description in the description box. All right. Please look at my previous auctions to see how they work. Self-explanatory. Auction 3J. If you type in a search for Auction 3J, it has a demo that I did on my tablet on how to bid. Okay. Uh, bid in the comment section under one of my pre-populated comments. What's a pre-populated comment? Funny you should ask. That's a comment that I put in under the video. I'm putting in, in this case, three comments. Each comment represents one item in the auction. In order, and so when you bid on an item, you find a comment with your item number that you want, and you reply or comment under that comment or reply and bid your your um, your amount. Now, just in case you're not sure you're bidding in the right spot, make sure you put the item number in your comment. Like, I want to bid 20 bucks on 5D01. Okay? Something like that. So that I know which one you're bidding on in case you didn't put it in the right spot. All right? Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> I will like your comment if I see it. Yeah, if I see it, I will like it. If you get a like on there and you go, wow, someone liked my comment. It's not someone. It's me. I liked it because I saw it. Now, sometimes YouTube is uh, quirky or glitchy and I don't see the comments. If you don't get a like on your bid, maybe I don't see it. But uh, wait a little while at first. Don't expect me to put a like on it within five seconds. Sometimes it takes me a, a while. But as the time approaches the end of the auction, I will check more frequently, right? So give me some time in the beginning. The auction goes from like 3 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern. So when it first posts, I kind of let it sit for an hour or two, and I might not see, I might not be looking at it for an hour or two. So just wait. As the time approaches the end of the auction, if you don't see a like on it, on your comment or your bid, then uh, send me an email or try try bidding again or something, Okay. All right. Try not to bid at the last minute. Yes, please try. Try not to bid. I know that some of you guys are uh, last-minute bidders, which doesn't bother me at all, but it bothers some people, right? <clears throat> so what I do is I, I use YouTube's time tracker because everyone sees it. What is YouTube's time tracker? It's YouTube's little timestamp that shows how old your comment is. Now, I use that because that's what everybody sees. However... It can be up to two minutes off. So these are for last minute bidders, right? In the last two minutes. If YouTube says you're late, I will not count your bid. Okay? That's the important takeaway from this. So just be aware. Okay. Shipping is free in the U.S. International shipping is discounted but not free. Yeah. International shipping, the way I do it is I go to the post office and ship it out first. And then let, I let you know how much I'm going to add to it. But for the most part, I discount it by the amount that it would normally cost to ship it in the U.S. Okay? That's how it works. All right. So you know, this just gives you an idea of how much extra I charge for international shipping. <clears throat> okay. Uh, international rates often change. I might need to charge more than this. Once in a while, it's actually cheaper than this. I don't know. Maybe they have discounts or <clears throat> uh, two-for-one sales. I don't know. The international shipping and customs is funny. All right, here we go. Uh, I will provide tracking numbers. I accept PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, checks or money orders. I can also email you an electronic invoice that you can pay with a card. 
please note that I cannot charge your credit card at my on my end. So if you give me a credit card number, I can't do anything with it because I can't charge on my end. Uh, not with the not with the PayPal uh, stuff that I have my account. Uh, it doesn't allow me to do it on my end. Okay, I might be able to get point of sale stuff later, but for now, I don't have it. <clears throat> okay, uh, winners will be announced starting at 9:01 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, pay attention to your time zone because it's different for different time zones. It ends at 8 p.m. Central, 7 Mountain, or 6 Pacific. All right. So I'm now on Eastern time because I'm in Vermont. So uh, for me, I'm checking the auction at 9.01. But for you guys it's in Central time, the auction ends at 8. And for you guys in Mountain, it ends at 7. For you guys in Pacific time, it ends at 6. All right. Just be aware of that. Some people miss it, and they go, dang, I missed the auction because I tuned in too late. That's why. Okay. I will reply to your winning bid with the cut and paste little message, sold, thank you, item price, all that. And please email me your name, address, and etc. So if you win, you have to email me because I have no other way of notifying you other than in the comment section. Keep track of what the comment section is doing. And if you win, you'll see this little reply from me. You send me your email or send me your information to my email. If you're new, if you're not new, I've, I got most of your, your information, like your real name and your YouTube name and your address and your method of payment. I've already got that stuff, so you don't have to do it over again. But if you're new, this is very important. You need to email me if you win. Okay, just remember that, please. All right. I think that's it. Yeah, down below there's a longer description if you're into that sort of thing. All right. So that's it. I'm sorry. I, this is like the, the least number of items I've ever had in the auction. There's only three items. So uh, next week, we'll have more. Yes. I don't know how many, how much more. Because I'm still getting adjusted to uh, living with my dad. But uh, it, there will be more next week. Okay? So I hope you guys like the items. I hope you had a good weekend. And good luck. <laughs>